What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're bringing you guys yet another banger of a team. We're rocking out with Life Orb, Kieran White, alongside with Choice Band, Urshifu, and Talonflame. You guys are no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, join the Genius community by scrolling down, clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes like two seconds of your guys' time. So if you're not subscribed, just please do it out of the kindness of your heart. Subscribe to the Genius channel. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to uh, just announce that we have a giveaway upcoming for this week and next week. A $20 eShop gift card is going to be going on for two weeks. There should be a link down in the description below, but if not, then there will be a link down in the description below in future videos. But I just want to give you guys a heads up. $20 eShop gift card, first ever giveaway. I'm teaming up with Short Circuit Gaming, me and my partnership. I'm a head of content creator over there bringing you guys a nice lovely $20 eShop gift card. So hopefully whoever wins it gets some value out of it, but stay tuned for that. Follow my Twitter page, stay updated on it, or just keep watching Gene's videos. But just want to announce that, get you guys a little excited for that. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Kieran White. Kieran White is awesome. Great, lovely restricted mod with Turbo Blaze and the Life Orb as item. We're rocking Draco Meter and Blizzard for Stab, and then Earth Power and Ancient Power for both our coverage moves. Second Pokemon on the squad is this lovely Choice Scarf Ditto over here. Choice Scarf Ditto coming in hot. Cannot wait to use that Pokemon, transform into other Pokemon, and roll into the battle like that. Middle left is going to be Choice Band Urshfu. And I love Urshfu, especially Choice Band. It's just super, super good. Hits like an absolute truck. We got Unseen Fist to hit through Protects as its ability, and then we got Surgeon Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet for first turn priority, and then our Lonesome Coverage move, which is going to be Fire Punch. Right next to him is going to be Talonflame. Great little Tailwind setter upper and a good uh, Pokemon to do some big physical attack damage. We have Flare Blitz, will o -Wisp, Tailwind, and Endure, and then we're rocking Gale Wings and the Kusat Berry as our item. Bottom left hand corner is our support in DD. Pretty normal setup with him with the Psychic Surge and Psychic Seeds, and then Expanded Force Follow Me, Helping Hand to Protect. Like I said, everything's pretty normal. Cannot go wrong with that support moveset for that in DD. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex with the Focus Ash and the As One ability. We do have Imprison and Trickrim on it, which I really, really like because, you know, Trickrim is such a pain when, you, when you're when you going up against it. So Imprison Trickrim can work well at countering that. And then we got Speed Swap to, you know, to, you know give Calyrex's speed to another Pokemon. And then last but not least, we have to have Astro Barrage. His best move, gotta be rocking with it. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Kiram White, Urshfu, and Talonflame team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one, going up against an Eternatus and Groudon team with Charizard, Wimscott, and DD. So pretty strong team, great restricted mods. Hopefully we can rock into this one and counter it up. But Kieran White is going to be a solid Pokemon. So I'm definitely going to lead him. Probably Dynamax him right off the rip. He just does work up against a ton of these Pokemon. The Charizard, the Eternatus, the Groudon, the Wimscott. It's just lovely. It is just lovely. I feel like leading that alongside with the Talonflame could be solid. Talonflame could be a lovely little Pokemon to lead. So I am going to uh, roll in with both of them and lead them both. So... Those two, I gotta bring Calyrex in the back, and then I think Choice Pant Urshfu could definitely come in hot. Could definitely come in hot with that Surgeon Strikes if the Drought's gone, or Ditto. Or Ditto. Who should I go into? Ditto or Urshfu? I'm kind of digging Ditto, just as like a late game back end Pokemon, but Urshfu does work solid here. He does work solid, especially if we can get rid of the weather, which I think we should be able to do. So you know what? I am gonna go Urshfu. The reason I say we can get rid of the weather is because we have Kieran White with two different moves that could change weather. We got our Ice move, and we got our Rock. Love it. And we're gonna be Dynamax him, obviously. He's just a man. He's just a man. So we're gonna rock out with him. We're gonna roll. Let's get it. Let's get after. Let's get after. I love Talonflame considering it does have uh, what's called. Let's have Will O Wisp too. Go up against physical attackers like Ground. I'm gonna get some burns on him. He's gonna go Wimscott. Let's have our Urshfu. And I'm cool with that. I am definitely cool with that. So I can definitely set up a nice little tailwind here. I can get buzzing with that. And then I think I just go into. Do I take out the Urshi? Do I take out the Urshi? I'm kind of leaning towards taking out the Urshfu here. Maybe a solid little play. Getting rid of the Urshfu right off the rip. I'm with it all day. So, you see, yeah, we're going to do that. And I'm just going to Tailwind here. Do I Tailwind or do I do something else? I'm going to Tailwind. I think he's going to Tailwind. I think I'm going to Tailwind. I think we're just going to cancel out. I think we should be fine. I think he might go for a close combat shot on me. But is that the fight? Is that dark in fighting or is that water? Maybe that's the uh, water one? <laughs> I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. That might be the dark one. I forget their stances. I got to see them both side by side. I think this one's the water one, though. I think that one might be the water one. I don't mind. I do not mind. As long as we get off this tail, which we should 100% be able to get off of due to scale wings ability, I think we should be thriving. No, it's not the water one. It's got to be dark one. Because if, it was, if it was the water one, Max Hailstorm would be uh, not very effective. In that sense. That's going to be the dark one. The lovely dark Urshfu is out and about. I'm going to Dynamax. I'm going to set up a tailwind right off the rip. Run it. Run it. What is Wimscott going for? Is Wimscott going for tailwind as well? I think so, right? Yeah. 
So we're gonna go tailwind for tailwind. I'm totally cool. I'm totally cool with that. My god with that. He's gonna outspeed me and he's gonna go for a wicked blow. Can we eat that? Wait, can we eat that? Can you eat this, Talonflame? Ken, I love you, Talonflame. He gets a guaranteed crit. That's totally fine. We have the Kusat Berry next turn. And we're just gonna Hailstorm here. And it's gonna be a big turn for us because this I it might not take out the Urshfu, but still it should do enough damage. Yeah, it brings him down a Okay, cool. Buff is gonna take him out, and then I can just legit uh go straight into a flare butts over into that uh, left slot. Take out my talent flame, take out the Whimscott, we can get buzzing from there. So I'm thinking that. I'm thinking that. Or I can stay in the battle. It really depends who he throws out this next turn. It really depends who he throws out here next turn. Because if he throws out Groudon, I really want to go into a uh, Will of Wisp. But if he doesn't, then I'm just going to go into what I just said with a Flare Blitz and just roll off from there. So I would love to drop a big old Will of Wisp. This lovely Will of Wisp. It's going to go Eternity. So Eternity is special attacking. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to Flare Blitz. I'm just going to go into a Flare Blitz, take out Whimscott, and then I'm just going to drop a Hail. Right? It's got to be my play all day. That'd be my play all day. Or I can Worm one. What would be better? What would be better? I think they both do the same. They both do the same. Does this hail? Does hail uh, give uh, increase in ice damage? I don't know if it does. I don't think it does. But still, if he wants to swap into Groudon, I'd rather go for hail. Keep doing as much damage as I possibly can. Uh, we're going to do that, and then, again, just go right into this. Go right into this. And I think our Kusat Berry is going to come in hot here. Yep, Kusat Berry comes in hot. We're going to get first turn priority. And we're going to just dump on this thing. Oh, this thing actually gets a helping hand off first. Wow, that's actually kind of scary. It's actually really scary. That thing might be able to just... Oh, that's going to take out my... What's it called, isn't it? That's going to take out my Kiram, right? This could be tough. This could be tough. Kiram, can you outspeed? Probably not, right? Turns is kind of fast. Now I'm going to go down and recoil. And yo, helping hand with that. Max Ken, that's going to dump on me. He does go first. Ouch, dude. We're dead. We're dead. That's rough. That is so rough. So he still has Dynamax. He's going to take me out here, right? There's no way I survive this. There's no way. Double damage, helping hand, super effective. Yeah, no shot. No shot. Yeah, we get dumped. Though. We get pimp slapped. We get absolutely pimp slapped. And now we're sitting in a problem if he brings out Groudon, because then weather is in his favor. That is rough because we have our Urshfu in the back. I knew I should have brought my lovely Ditto, but we do have Calyrex. We do have lovely little Calyrex just showing here. I do not mind my Calyrex. And he's going to bring out Groudon, right? Dude, that's rough. That's rough. We had a huge start to the battle. But then he turned just coming in hot. Turned just coming in hot. And there's the ground on. That is so rough. That is so rough for us. Because he can just easily die to max him and roll off from there. Dang, dude. Dang, dang, dang. And my focus actually... Actually, no, never mind. He has drought. I was going to say, my focus actually is going to go away due to the hail. But we're fine. He's changing it to drought. Drought comes in hot. I'm not liking this. I am not liking this. We have the choice banned. Uh, could go Astro Barrage, which is exactly what we're going to have to go for. And I would love to go for a Surge Strikes, but it's just not worth it, right? Could go for a Fire Punch. Fire Punch might do more damage than Close Combat? Hmm, and we have a chance to leave him with a Burn. I got to get a Burn here. I do have to get off a Burn, so you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna go after Scrabble. I'm going to go after Scrabble. I was going to Close Combat until he turned this, but I just, I just feel like we have to get off these Burns. We have to get off a Burn. So he goes Dynamax. I think Groudon is going to be slowest on the field. I think it's going to go Calyrex, Eternatus, then Urshfu, and Groudon in the turn field. But still, yo, but still, this is not looking good, yo. That the one side, once that Dynamax cannon came out, it was rough. It was rough. I knew it. I was just like, dude, he got off the helping hand. Even if he didn't get off the helping hand, I still think it takes us out. Let's see how this one plays out here. Eternatus is going to protect. That's that's fine. I'm cool with that. Cool with that. Maybe he goes after a Calyrex and we get off uh, our Focus Ash. That's, that could be big. Unless he's dropping a rock. Unless he's dropping a rock. So, Astro Barrage comes out here. We chip up some damage on the ground on. Fire Punch can come out here. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Give me a burn. Give it to me. No burn. Quake's gonna fly through here. Go after, uh... Go after a Calyrex, please. Cool. If he goes after Calyrex, I'm cool with that. Cool with that. We eat that up regardless. We eat that up regardless. The Special Defense Boost is gonna fly through here. I think at this point, we try to take out Eternatus. I think we try to take out the Eternatus with this. And then a nice, lovely close combat. Oh, no, we're choosing a fire punch. God dang it. Ooh, that's rough. All right, we're just going to do this. That's rough. That's real rough. I was going to say, close combat could be nice right now, but yo, we're choice banded. We're choice banded. Astro Barrage is going to poke through here. Not going to do as much damage as it did last turn, but still not bad damage. Flamethrower is going to come in hot, and he's taking out. going to take out my Cali. The Cali goes out here. Mm. Mm. And we, we're going to need a burn here, right? We're going to need a burn here. Let's see how this one plays. Fire punch. Or get, get a crit or something. Some big damage. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. No burn. Quake flies through. And I think, is that GG's? That GG's. Might be. 
Nope, we soak, but yeah. But yeah, it's pretty much over with. It is pretty much over with. So we special defense boosted. I could take out the ground on. He could predict the guard. It would be cool. But at the same time, we have to take out the ground, right? We have to take out the ground. He might guard, but it, it, we, we need to take out the ground here. He's definitely going to guard. Just rub it in my face. I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset. Cool, he doesn't guard. Dynamax kind of comes through here anyway. And that's GG. That is GG. Solid battle to get a start here. We end up losing this close. Definitely really, really close. Could have went either way, but yo, that Eternatus coming in hot with that Dynamax Cannon really gave him the upper hand. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Battle number one was pretty solid all around. Like I said, we ended up grabbing that L, but it's all good. We're going to make up for it in battle number two by grabbing a W here. Going up against a Sassian and Calyrex team with Regilecki, Tornadus, Incineroar, and Landers. All right. My boy Kiram is definitely coming in hot again. He's just such a good Pokemon. Really good Dynamax Pokemon. We just got to watch out for that Sassian because you know, Sassian can absolutely rip on it. It could just absolutely rip on it. Do I go Talonflame as a lead? I could go Talonflame, maybe Calyrex as a lead, and bring Kiram in, in the back. I don't mind that. I really do not mind that. But I could, or I could go Calyrex and Kiram. That's also solid. That is also solid. But what do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? Do I lead Talonflame? Just take speed? Yeah, just in case he wants to go into like E webs, all that stuff. I just feel like that's going to be our play. And then bring this guy. I think we bring Team Squad. Or we could bring Ditto. I kind of do dig Ditto. But Choice Band Urshfu is really, really powerful. He's just a really powerful Pokemon. I could do a work up against a few of these guys. So you know what? I'm going to bring uh, Choice Band Urshfu. So yeah, we're going to go same squad. Just different order. Look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yo, dude, I wish we would have won that first battle. We were buzzing right off the rip. We had a great lead. Dynamax Cannon just came in hot. It came in hot. I should have known my speeds. I should have probably... I, I couldn't even have guarded it. I don't have max guard. So it would have it went the same way. It would have went the same way. I could have potentially swapped, but I mean, well, what would that have done? It would just waste my time. Would he, he would just kill me later? He's gonna end up going these two, which I'm cool with. I could tail win here, right? I led my, I led my talent flame, right? Yeah, we got talent flame and Cali Cali out. Cali Cali, love it, love it. So we're rolling out with these two. Tail one can obviously come out here first. Uh, we do have a focus dash, which is great on my Calyrex, but I'm worried about my talent flame. Here. My lovely little talent flame, but as long as we get off tail one, I think we should be fine. Jean should be fine. Especially with this lovely Astro Barrage coming in hot. Cannot go wrong with it. Astro Barrage, baby. Barrage, dude. We ain't playing around. Talonflame coming in hot. Thank you, Gale Wings. Yo, Shiny Talonflame's looking spiffy, yo. Looking real spiffy. I'm gonna go next. Astro Barrage gonna chip up some nice damage. Who's Who, who has to focus Ash? Who's sashing up? Who's sashing up? None of them. None of them. Yo, that's GG's. None of them are focused, Sash. Oh, yo, get him out of here. That's GG's. Good game. Good game. Go ahead, turn off your console. None of them were focused, Sash. That's a miracle. That is a miracle. That's that's good game, though. That's a good game. I still have my focus, Sash, on my Calyrex. I'm plus two. I'm plus two in a tailwind. This is going to be... This is light work. This is light work. GG's. G to the G's, baby. G to the G's. It is over with. It's over with. Get him on out of here. He's going to go into these two. I'm going to burn his Ascian. And I'm just going to come in hot with a uh, with an Astral Barrage. Like, there's no point. Or I can, you know, I can double down his Ascian here. I mean, we have speed. There's no point in burning it. I'm just going to double down his Ascian. I'm just going to go Fire Blitz into a... Uh, I'm just going to go Fire Blitz into what's it called? The Astral Barrage. Get to the G's, man. Get to the G's. Just got to cancel battle. Just cancel battle. Give me the sweep. There it is, yo. Battle was canceled. One turn battle. Let's get it. I told you guys. We were going to make up for the battle number one loss in battle number two. And that is exactly what happened. Just dropped a clean Astro Barrage. Grabbed ourselves a crit. It's all good. We just dumped on two Pokemon that are very lightweight. And they didn't have the Focus Ash, which I was I was obviously surprised about. But we take that all day. Easy one turn battle. We're hopping into our third and final. Let's grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a, what is this? Zacian and Eternatus. Okay, with, uh, you know, Torkoal. Sunny Day, Wimscott, and then the, the Sun Boys, Charizard, and Venus. All right. So we need some type of weather control. Kiram, you got to come in here. We got to rock out with Kiram. I'm kind of scared of a few of these people. Like, dude, Zacian and Eternatus rip on Kiram with, without speed. So I got to go Talonflame here, right? We got we to get speed going on our side. So I'm going to lead Talonflame. I think leading Kiram could be solid. Just getting some work done and going in from there. And then bringing in Calyrex and Ditto. I think Ditto could be solid over Urshfu all day today. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. We're going to roll in with Ditto over Urshfu and just change it up just a tad bit. But I have to get Kieran more here. And I have to get after the battle. So I'm kind of like this. I'm kind of like this. So let's see who he's going to lead. Let's see who he's going to lead. Because this is kind of like a similar team that we burst in battle. 
He has the Eternatus. He has Pokemon that can do double damage. Dynamax Pokemon. Especially my Kyurem. Kyurem is probably going to be my Pokemon I want to Dynamax. And so that's the little scary part. He's going to end up leading the Charizard and Torkoal, which I'm really fine with. I'm really fine with because at this point, I'm just going to Tailwind. And I'm going to change up this weapon hard with a rock and dump on the Charizard. That's my plan all day. That is my plan all day. Tailwind takes speed control, bang, right into a, uh, a what's it called? A rock fall. That's four times super effective on the Charizard. So I'm with it all day. It changes up the weather. It should be able to take out Charizard unless he's rocking the, uh, what berry is that? What berry is it that helps me rock? I can't even think of the name. He's using the Charty Berry. That's what it is. It's the Charty Berry. Hopefully he's not rocking that. And even if he is, we should be uh, thriving pretty well here because, again, just changing up the weather on Charizard really neglects a lot of his damage because, A, he doesn't get that weather boost, and B, he doesn't get that solar power boost. So I'm really digging it. And same thing with Torkoal. Like, Torkoal really rips in the sun because eruption with sun boost. Damage. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. So I think this is a solid turn for us. I think this is a solid turn for jeans. A really, really solid turn for jeans. Never mind, it is not a solid turn for Jeans. He withdraws into disaster. What a play by him. What a gorgeous play by our opponent. <laughs> our opponent makes a good call. So our opponent swaps into that. That's, a, that's not bad. I mean, as long as we still change up this weather, he does make, a, again, a great call there by swapping. So now I got to watch out. At least we do have a uh, speed control here. At least we do have speed control. And, oh, no. I wish I would have went into a flare blitz. <laughs> What if it's going to do some mean old damage on Zacian? But depending on how much HP we do with this uh, Rock Fall, it's not going to do too much. I am going to uh, just Flare Blitz with Talonflame and see if we can take that out. Let's see how this one plays. So Talonflame's going to fly. Send it. Send it. Give us all the speed in the world. And Eruption's still kind of scaring me. I'm not going to lie. Eruption's scaring me. Still. We drop a Rock. Zacian's going to be able to soak up. And yeah, that's, that's scary. That's scary. Because that thing soaked up pretty well. That sucked up pretty well. But more importantly, like I said, we change up the weather, which is a good call in our favor. And what's he going to go from from here? Is he erupting? An iron defense. How dare you? Okay, so you got to go. You got to go. You have got to go. You have got to go. Okay, so let's iron defensing up. We have to start using moves with our, our key. Well, that's because that's a bulky turtle. It's a bulky turtle with leftovers. It's a bulky little tur turtle. It's a bulky little turtle. Okay, so from here, I really want to, he might swap in the Charizard, but I have to go into like a Flare Blitz here. Which I could Will-O-Wisp him. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp him. I'm going to go for just Quake. I'm going to hope he doesn't swap in the Charizard. Here, that could be ugly. He protects Assy, that's fine. So good thing we did go into Quake on that slot. That's solid. That is solid. Are you double protecting? He is double protecting. Okay, so we'll take a special defense boost. And dang, dude, this guy's just playing it slow. He's playing it slow, slow. will going to get blocked. And then we're going to go for a quick here, which makes him probably want to swap in the Charizard again. So I'm just going to drop a rock next turn. This guy's playing it nice and slow. He's playing it nice and nice and slow. But he's going to definitely want to swap that Torkoal. He's definitely going to want to swap that Torkoal just to get the weather later in the match. The special defense is going to get boosted. I am going to go for another will o -Wisp. I am going to go for another will o -Wisp. I just think that's a fine turn. I just think that's a gorgeous turn for us. Just go into another will o -Wisp. Try to get Zassian out of the battle. And then roll off from there. So left is gonna uh, grab him some more HP. But yo, this is tough. Our opponent's playing really good. He's really countering our Dynamax turns. So will o -Wisp, we're gonna send it again. And then I think at this point we just drop a rock, right? Because who can he swap into? We can swap into Charizard. I mean Venusaur. He might have brought Venusaur. Maybe Eternatus. But still, Rockfall is definitely a call because we do not want him swapping into the Charizard and going from there. He's gonna withdraw his ass. He's gonna go back into Charizard that slot. He's gonna go back into Charizard that slot. Okay. Our charge is going to go back in that slot, and this guy's just playing it slow. Willowis is not going to affect the Charizard. That's totally fine, and Rockfall is going to come in hot. So this should take him out, and this should be really good for us because we say no to his weather. So weather is gone. It's off the field. Weather is gone and off the field. My boy is uh, done his Dynamax turns. Wow, dude, he played those Dynamax turns. Really great great swaps. Really, really great swaps. If he didn't swap at all, or maybe like once, yo, we could have been five or protect it. We, had, we have some good Pokemon out here doing some work. So he might Dynamax Charizard regardless, which I think is going to happen here. And we still have a little bit of speed here. We still have a decent speed. So I think at this point, we just drop a nice little bit of Flare Blitz. The disaster. And I could go for the burn again. I could go. I, I think I am going to go for the burn. I think I am going to go for the burn. Might double protect just to get rid of Tailwind turns. But then at that point, I just set up another Tailwind, right? But yeah, do I Will-O-Wisp? Kind of lean towards it. Will-O-Wisp for later and then go into a Ancient Power. The Charizard. 
my ancient power and Charizard. I'm kind of leaning towards it. Yeah, let's run it. Let's run it. It's four times super effective. We have to go for a rock move. An absolute must. It's an absolute must. And now we have the chance of getting all stat boosts, which could be could be lovely. So he's gonna end up Dynamaxing Charizard. That's totally fine. Hopefully he's not protecting his Zacian. If he's not protecting his Zacian, we get off a huge burn. Huge burn. Now we've been trying to get off for the last this is three turns now. And we've been trying to get it off. But we do have speed due to Tailwind, which is gorgeous. We might protect the Charizard, which would be a great play. Let's see. So what he does. I don't know what their opponent's doing. He's just been he's just been making good plays all day. So he does not protect anybody. will o connects onto Zacian. That's huge. That's huge. So now I can flare up what's the next turn and get it. And probably KO it, right? Probably KO it. Maybe, maybe not. Ancient Power is going to fly through here. Four times super effective. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Charizard up against rocks. Nah, yo. He's done. He's done for. Get him on out of here, yo. I'm surprised I actually KO. 60 base power. And it's and it's our coverage move. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. He goes for a wild charge. That's going to take out. Oh, it does not take out the outplay. But Buffets are going to take out the outplay. That's, that's totally fine. Though. That's totally fine. Solid, solid, solid plays from Talonflame. So now from here, I could bring out Ditto. I could bring out Ditto. I would love to bring out Ditto. Is Ditto, would Ditto take his burn? I'm actually curious to find that out. I'm actually real curious to find out. I could go into you, but I, I'd rather save my Calyrex. I'm going to swap into Ditto. Does Ditto take the burn? I don't think he does. I don't think Ditto takes the burn. But look at my little, look at that little globby glob. Look at that little globby glob coming in hot. The Tailwind's gone. We do have a Choice Scarf, which we have a lovely Choice Scarf. And we're going to take his stats, and then we're going to get plus one from us, right? Is that how it works? Or do we just take his stats? Let's see. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to be plus two. <laughs> we're going to be plus two. That's lovely. That's lovely. And we're not burned, right? We should be plus two. We take his stats, and then we go plus one. Love it. We love it. And we're Choice Scarf, right? We are Choice Unless we take his item. No, we're Choice Scarf. Gorgeous. So we're Choice Scarf. I can just run into a play rough here. Or Behemoth Blade. We'll do more damage. Behemoth Blade does a little bit more damage. That's gorgeous. So we're just going to go Behemoth Blade. Try to take out this Eternatus. And I might double down into him. I can drop a Draco Meteor. Lizard's not too bad here. Hmm. I'm going to double down into... I, I, actually, I don't want to double down. We're going to go for a Blizzard. I'm going to go for a Blizzard. I don't want to double down just in case it protects. But Behemoth Blade's going to fly through here. Look at this weird animation Ditto has. Look, look at it. It's like glitched. Big old damage. We chip it up like that. Can Kyrim land this uh, Blizzard? That'll be lovely. Behemoth Blade flies through here. Who's he hitting up on? He hitting up on Kyrim? Kyrim might be able to eat this because he's burned. No, he does not. That's fine. That's fine. My Ditto should be thriving here. My Ditto should be thriving. And plus, we have our, our uh, super, super fast boy in the back. Our Calyx. So that's going to be GG. So you can go for a flamethrower. That should be easy soaks for my Ditto. Mwah. Don't get a burn. Cool. Sandstorm's gone. That's GG. It is game over. It is game over because I just roll into Calyrex. Ashley Brash takes out Eternatus. Behemoth Blade takes out uh takes out Zacian, and it's over. It is over. Solid third and final battle. We're gonna be able to pick ourselves up a lovely little winning record for you guys. I feel like I've been buzzing in us uh, Sword and Shield. I feel like the first battles, as of recently, first battles I've been you know, losing them, but then the second and third, I've just been spot on. Just rolling out, battling hard, grabbing you guys to wins, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. But yeah, Behemoth Blade is going to fly here. And I'm just going to roll into a straight Astro Brock. Finish off the Eternatus. Lovely, lovely. Cancel battle. Cancel battle, I believe. I think once Calyrex hopped in battle, he's probably like, yeah, dude, it's over. I'm just going to cancel, right? Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Dan, dan, dan. I think he's thinking of ways that maybe he can win this. But like, Calyrex is just one of those Pokemon. Just, like, he has one of the best double hitting moves. Protecting doesn't really do anything. So he's going to protect that turn. Behemoth Blade is going to get blocked. And then Astro Brock is just going to roll through here and take out Eternatus. Eternatus, do me a favor. Do me a favor, buddy. Get on out my game. Get him on out of here. We don't want him here. He's gone. He's gone. But I think that was his only hope. Was like hoping that his Eternatus can eat that up. But there was no shot he was. That was his only hope. Protecting, hoping he would eat that up and then take out maybe Zaxi and turn into a 2v1. But still, at that point, you can't take out my Calyrex. I have a focus. Action. We were just we 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 were just sitting super super pretty, but Behemoth Blade, another Astro Brash. I believe our opponent cancels the battle. We grab ourselves a winning record, right? Yep, there it is. Another winning record for you guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. I really did like the team that we used. We rocked out with the Kyrim, the Earth Street Town Flame, Calyrex, and we also got Ditto in on the, in that final battle, which he did absolute work with. But like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, make sure you guys stay updated with my Twitter and all things on my YouTube page. For my brand new giveaway for a $20 eShop e card. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the giveaways because we're going to be doing plenty more in the future.
But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.